With the Syrian Democratic Forces closing in, these people are fleeing from the Islamic State group's last enclave in eastern Syria. The SDF have begun their final push to oust the militants, but say they're now holding fire while civilians, many of them relatives of the jihadists, make their escape. We're waiting for the children and civilians to leave before we move forward with our siege on the village of Baghuz. They're all leaving now. We slowed down the assault so as not to hurt them. Since beginning the offensive on Saturday, the force has met fierce resistance from the Islamic State group as it defends the last bastion of its so-called caliphate. At the height of their power, the militants controlled an area in Syria and Iraq the size of Britain. But the US-supported Kurdish Arab alliance has succeeded in driving them back to a four-square-kilometer patch of territory. They believe there could be up to 600 Islamic State group fighters still inside the pocket, most of them foreigners. President Donald Trump, who's planning to pull US forces out of Syria, has said that he expects the coalition to reclaim all the territory held by Islamic State group as early as this week. The SDF says a more likely time frame is by the end of February. But it's warned that the jihadists would continue to pose serious security threats beyond that.